Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about uses of field value and how to implement localization in Pega. Let's get started in the topic. As we know that many applications are used in different countries and different countries have their own local language. So we might get a requirement like suppose a user is filling some form instead of English labels and other things they want their respective local language. Why not in the world? Just in India itself, you take there are many languages and there is no mandatory rule that everyone knows English and everyone can use the application promptly. Suppose I want to create a case. This is capture data case. Suppose this is language. Now I want this to show in uh, some local language, uh, for example, Telugu. So how do you implement it? So we'll go to the section of this. So in this section, if you select this, you can see here label is nothing but property default. So this language is nothing but the properties label value, which is this one. Okay. Suppose if you want to change it and it want to show it in some local language, what you have to do is just see where this property is this USG gymnastics work capture data. So we have something called as field value. So under records data model, if you see here field value is there. So here you can just click on create and label you have to give like which particular value you want to translate. Suppose this is language, language. So field name. In field value, we have different types. Suppose, uh, you are going to translate some case status. For example, you have case status as a pending fulfillment. Now we want to show it as pending for fulfillment. Then how do you do it? Just here you have to give like PY status work. So it comes under the, that category. Here I want to give us PY caption. Okay. And here you can see create and open. Suppose you want to give the respective value here itself. Click on this view additional configuration options. Then you can see create and close button over here. So in language in Telugu, they call as Basha. Now I'm going here to the Google translator. I am selecting this language to Basha, copying it. I'm just pasting over it here. Okay. And I'm giving create and close. Now we did the translation. We have to know that where we have created this field value. For example, this is created in rule OBJ field value, but this doesn't work like this. See, it did not change. For that purpose, what you have to do is uh, we have to create the same thing in the same class where the respective property is there. Suppose this is the language. Now I'm checking in. I'm going to the case. I'm doing actions refresh. See? Level has been changed. Suppose if you take this identity ID, you can see where this particular property identity ID is present. This is also there in the same class work capture data. Now I am doing a service of this. I am giving identity ID which is same. Create and open. Now I want to give us customer identity document id you can't create properties with this length right that's why you have to make use of this field value now i'm checking in this updated translation okay now i'm going to this i'm going actions refresh 
hanging with the case why because this identity id is having some space identity space id but here i have created for identity id so you have to make sure that you should not you should be following the same thing now i am doing identity space id See customer identity document ID. Why previously it did not work? Why? Because we have created field value with identity ID. But here this is identity space ID. So, so you have to make sure that you have to follow same syntax for both the label and property that you have created. See here it is identity ID. In the first instance we did we have created a field value with this. That's why it did not reflect. So after we have created with this, it worked. So these are the prerequisites for implementing the field value. Like it should be in the same rule set and this particular label ID should be equal to your field value ID. Okay. For example, now I'm having three to four properties. That is fine. Suppose if I have more than 100 words, how do you implement this? You can't go and sit every time and uh, create property uh, and label id for everything right for field value for everything right that's why pega has given a concept called as localization for that go to configuration user interface application readiness localization translate to new language here i have to select for which language i want to do translation Suppose I want to do for Netherlands, Dutch, this one. Click add. Suppose you have any existing translation and you want to retranslate it. Select that. Click next. Here uncheck everything first. Again check it. And uh, you have to select what are the rule sets you have. And I don't want this and this. So just uh, given this, click next. Then you can see here, this step will enable records for translations into any language by enabling localized setting for the each record. Click on enable records for translation. So 66 uh, are enabled over here. Click next. Yeah, see here you can see, click the download for translation button to create its translation pack. So it will collect all the words that are there in your application and it provides in an excel format suppose you want some examples you can give that if you do not want you can select this i am selecting this like no do not include any example files and now i am select clicking on download translation After I have downloaded, click next. See, when translations are completed, please navigate to the following landing page. Design Studio, User Interface, Localization Tools, Translations in Progress. To this place, you have to go and you have to select this work ID, PXL2. There, you have to upload again this translation. Okay, now I am closing this. Go to User Interface, Localization. Now we are selecting the second option, translations in progress. You can see PLX1 and PLX2. Now uh, I have selected PLX2. So before this, we have to convert those words into Dutch language. Now I am going to records explorer and see these are the files that I got. I am doing an extract over here. These are the translation files I got. You get this text to translate.xml. You open with some Excel. So here I have selected WPS office and then I have selected uh, in an Excel format. So this Excel has been opened. Okay. So these are the existing 
options and actions that we have now suppose this is a customer identity document id that we have another thing and this is identity id so this identity id i want to see in batch i'm going here inserting english from here and i'm giving identity id this is in dash it is called like this copy it paste here save it and mm, yeah, we can see this enrollment id yeah this is enrollment id And Dutch this is like this. Now save it and close. Now what else we have to do is just to test this. We have updated uh, this folder. Again we have to go back and make this a zip. Compare to zip file. Yeah, give that to like underscore Dutch okay so this is the file now you go back to the studio again i'm repeating here i have to go to configure user interface application readiness localization and transitions in progress and pxl2 is the instance we got it open it and what is the rule set so you have to select in which rule set you want to create this so you can see here select a rule set where you want to save the transitions uh, for example this particular thing is in competition rule set so i have i am selecting here as competition dutch and i have to give o1 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 and this is gymnastics dutch rule set o1 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 okay next now we have to upload zip file next see we have done two changes successful imports two as there are no changes it has kept it finish it okay your translated values have been imported successfully you can test using local settings this i will cover up in next video now i'm closing this and uh, you can see in your application definition you have only competition but not completion competition dutch add rule set you give us competition underscore nl that is your rule set okay you drag and drop here to the top save it sorry mention rule set save it so what are the rules that gets created uh, here in nl open it there are totally two records those two records are nothing but our field value identity id and enrollment id okay now you create a case see enrollment id is changed so in this way we have to implement different languages using field value and using two wizards that are provided by pega suppose you want to uh, remove this and you want to specify only for Netherlands uh, based application, just to delete this rule set. Save your application and you just like create a case. You can't see that again. See? Because in our application stack, we have removed it. So, in this way, you can play around with different languages and you can promote your application presence in many countries by using these features you can explain to your clients hope you have learned a new concept thanks for watching this video please subscribe share like and comment